Hi everybody, it's Becky Rosenthal, part of the Union Tribe, and really the global tribe out there, uh, working to raise the vibe while we're all going through this interesting time. Today is uh, Friday, March 27th, so um, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to offer uh, two different types of hugging meditation. So the first type of hugging meditation I learned uh, through my teacher Thich Nhat Hanh who shares this uh, with all of us because he came from Vietnam where you don't normally um, touch monks and nuns but when he started traveling in the West he realized that we like to hug people and so he decided he would turn a hug into an opportunity to practice. So this is called hugging meditation. So the idea is if you have somebody to hug, um, you're going to reach out heart to heart. So on your left side where your heart is, your heart and their heart are going to connect, right? Which is a little bit different. We tend to hug to the right, but we're going to lead with our heart. And the idea is that it's a, a slow and really um, great opportunity to be present. And so that's really the gist of meditation and mindfulness is that you're very present in that moment. So here you are, you're hugging your person heart to heart. And you're going to take three breaths. Now the first breath, when you take it in, the idea is to kind of fill yourself with love, you know, with self-compassion. And you breathe that out. And then you take another breath in, again, heart to heart. And this time, that heart to heart compassion is for the person that you're hugging, right? This person that is literally in that moment connected to you, heart to heart. So you take a breath in and out. And then the third one is you both visualize breathing for everyone, everyone on the planet, right? So taking a deep breath in and imagining that as you breathe out, you're kind of spreading and sending love to all of us, all of us around the globe. So that's one form of hugging meditation. So the second form, go ahead and do this with me. You're going to sit up. If you can put your feet on the ground, that would be even better. Um, but if you have your legs up and you're more comfortable, that's fine. But you definitely want to be able to sit upright. You're going to take your right hand and bring it under your left armpit or kind of on the side ribs, almost, um, yeah, almost under your armpit, but kind of on the side of your ribs. Your thumb can be up or your thumb can be down. It's more comfortable for me to put my arm up like this. Then I'm going to take my left hand, I'm going to reach across myself, and I'm going to put my hand on my shoulder. Now, if that's uncomfortable or doesn't work for you, you can bring your hand lower, but if possible, we do want to kind of create this um, little sense of containment, right? Holding. So I'm holding. I'm hugging myself. So part of why we do this meditation is to, number one, soothe and take care of ourselves. So when we hold our body in this capacity, first and foremost, it connects us to our body. So often we get stressed out by things that we have no control over, and that creates a lot of um, what we call rising energy. So most of you know that I've studied a form of uh, body work called shiatsu, and it has to do with the energy channels in our body. And so rising energy means things like our heart rate has started to speed up. 
tension has started to happen in our head. Maybe our respiration is causing us to have really shallow breathing. So when we have energy that's rising up like that, we want to try to bring it down. And we don't want to force it down, but we want to notice it and then invite it to come down. So a really good way to do that while I'm holding myself is literally just do like a body scan. So I'm going to do that with you right now as a way to do hugging meditation. So please get in a comfortable position. As I said, if you can have your feet on the ground, that'd be great. Your right hand underneath your armpit on the outside of your rib cage here and then across your body. So let's just start with noticing our feet on the ground being connected to the earth. And now just notice where where is your hips where is your bottom how do how does all that feel if you need to move around tilt forward get to a place where it just kind of feels like it's settled and it feels like it's neutral and it's not too rigid and it's not too loose just Now, just check in with your body. If you want, close your eyes. I'm going to do that for a few seconds. So what's going on with your stomach? Can you relax your stomach? Can you relax your back? Can you relax your shoulders? Hang out in this position for a few more minutes. Start to see if being held in this container helps to bring you back into the present moment. Feeling your hands, feeling your body. Smiling, knowing that you're alive and well if you're listening to this video. You don't have to change your breath at all. If anything, you could start practicing breathing out a little bit longer. There's a lot of really interesting um, data and research around trauma healing. I said trauma healing, meaning events have happened and we now know that energy, traumatic energy can often get stuck in the body. And so when we reconnect to our physical body, it's one of the first steps in letting the body know that, that energy can move. It can move out. It doesn't have to be stuck in your stomach or in your pelvis or in your chest or in your wrists. So breathing without changing it, just keep breathing how you were breathing before I used the word breathing. <laughs> just keep breathing. If you want to close your eyes, I'm going to watch the time for about another 30 seconds.
partner hugging or self hugging as a form of meditation can bring you back into the moment. It can connect you heart to heart with someone else and it can connect you viscerally, meaning you can touch and feel your arms and legs and feet. That brings the body, the mind, the heart into coherence, meaning they start working together. The mind's not running amok, the heart's not racing in control. The body knows, hey, whoosh, right here, right now, all I'm doing is hugging. I'm hugging myself. I hope you'll hug yourself. I hope you'll hug someone else if you can today. Have a great day. Namaste.